Whoa, what a finish! Hello, my name is Chris. Oh. Hello, my name is Chris, and welcome to the post fight reaction for Conor Ben's first round destruction of Samuel Vargas in the welterweight division. Wow, that was a very impressive performance. Conor Ben looked fast, fast and hard hitting and accurate. You, you could argue that Sammy Vargas is obviously a bit of a gatekeeper in the welterweight division, but you know, no one has beaten Vargas that quick and that convincingly ever. First round, not, not even the, like, that was very, very impressive. I was not expecting that. And to show that I wasn't expecting it, here is the 60 second prediction video for this fight. I don't think Ben is gonna allow him to get in close. I believe that Conor Ben wins this fight and wins on a unanimous points decision. Well, I got the winner right, and that's really the most important thing, isn't it? <laughs> but yeah, I, I picked Ben to win on points, I thought he would box cautiously because Sammy Vargas is, you know, he's dangerous. Sammy Vargas is not world level, but he's a bit of a gatekeeper and he does carry a bit of power and he can hurt you if if you get sloppy going in to, to try to finish him. Conor Ben just showed him absolutely no respect, hit him with super fast jabs and then I, I think he threw a couple of hooks and realised that it affected Vargas and he thought, you know what, I'm just going to go for this. I'm just going to open up and I'm going to go full on Dark Destroyer and just end it. And he did. <laughs> Fuck. I, I mean, I don't think anyone would have predicted a first round KO victory. Super impressive from Conor Ben. First round KO, you, 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 so you'd have to look from a Sammy Vargas point of view, you would have to say that, you know, Two big stoppage losses in a row, first to Virgil Ortiz and then and then now to, to Conor Ben in the first round. You know, you would have to say that maybe Vargas has got one or two fights left in him as an opponent for prospects and then he's done. Does Vargas want to sort of get to that level? I guess you could say fighting Conor Ben is already at that level, but Conor Ben is a popular fighter, so he, Vargas and, and it's a headline headline fight so he probably got paid quite well but you know I if, if he can I think Sammy Vargas should retire because who do you go after getting stopped in a first round by a hot prospect tough for Sammy Vargas but for Conor Ben Conor Ben marches on and he is really really improved and you know, I was talking to some people earlier on today and we're talking about how when Conor Ben first started, people were sort of saying that you know he looks very raw, <laughs> very raw, very hittable, and um, I've, I saw him fight live on a Ricky Burns undercard. I spoke to him at one of the like public weigh-in. I remember public weigh-ins a long, long time ago. I remember I speaking to him at the public weigh-in uh, just for like a couple of minutes or so, like years ago, and um, in the Enoch Centre in Glasgow, and he was really a really nice guy. And it's nice to and it's nice to see him develop in front of a rise. Usually this sort of development happens in the amateurs, so you don't usually get to see this much development. But because he didn't really have much of an amateur career, we have just visibly watched him massively improve. He went from a super raw novice to being, you know, what is he? What is he now? Is he a top 20 welterweight? Is he a top 15 welterweight? Virgil Ortiz stopped him, and now Virgil Ortiz is shouting for world titles. I'm not saying that Conor Ben's ready for a world title. I'm absolutely not saying that, but he is growing and developing rapidly to the point where I would currently say that Conor Ben, you could argue, is probably top 20 in the world right now. He's quick, he's really quick, and that is such a big asset because, you know, certain fighters are, you know, a lot of fighters are, are fight similar. Conor Ben, is, his speed is going to be a differentiating factor in a lot of fights. And the fact that he's still developing, he's getting better and better. Every fight you watch him in, he gets better. And the lockdown really helped. Since the lockdown, 
yeah, I think because he had basically like, I don't know, a year or a, close to a year of just not really fighting and just working on things in the gym. I think that was such a big asset. Him and Tony Sims seemed to work really well together. Credit to Tony Sims. He's a good trainer and um, he's developed Conor Ben enormously, <laughs> enormously. <laughs> and uh, it's just good to see. I like seeing sort of an underdog do well. And uh, I, the reason I say underdog is because I remember when when Ben had that fight, I can't remember the guy's name, Piano or, and I can't remember the guy's name, I'm sorry, but he had those two fights with that one guy and he got knocked down and it was like an absolute fucking war. But on that fight, a lot of people would say, oh Ben, it's never gonna amount to anything. And I think he's proved now that he is a real talent in the division. From a historic point of view, I would like to see Conor Ben fight for the British title next. Get that man the British title next. I think it's time for him to start collecting belts. Get that British title, get that Commonwealth title, get that European title. And then I think from that point of view, after maybe four or five fights, then I think he would be ready to fight one of the top 10, be it like in the lower top 10 to 15. Maybe I'd say lower top 10 of the division, I think Conor Ben would be real ready, but not to rush him because he's a popular undefeated hot prospect who's just put in a career best performance and he doesn't have any titles you know get him in a British title get him a Commonwealth title get him a European title get uh, that'll help him you know get some prestige in his career and also crucially more experience because I'm in mean, the weight division you know world titles are sparse you've got Terence Crawford Aero Spence you know you want to keep away from those two for as long as possible because those two are elite pound for pound fighters. Well, that's an argument, but they're, they're world class, arguably elite, probably elite fighters. So you, from a Ben point of view, you want to, and how you're managing Ben, you want to keep away from those two for as long as possible because Ben is young, so there is time. But you know, exciting times ahead for Conor Ben. Congratulations, Ben, on a career best performance. Great one, mate. Now, remember that little like button, and I'm out. Peace.